Hey guys, welcome to a new season um, of Epicure good goodness and goodiness, <laughs> if, that, if that's a word, but goodies. Um, I'm going to be bringing you a whole series of videos where I cook the new products and the returning products that actually are new to me since this is my first fall and winter season with Epicure. Um, and so this is just the first one I'm filming, so let's get started. Um, I laid out a number of different choices on my counter and had my family pick which one they wanted me to make tonight for dinner and um, for the main and for the dessert. Um, and so I'm going to start with dessert. And tonight we're going to be making pumpkin cheesecake. So I've got all my ingredients all ready to go. And as always, the instructions are right there on the packet. This uh, this packet does not contain any dairy, so you could make this um, completely vegan if you wanted. I'm not sure what the substitute would be for the cream cheese, but I'm sure you guys have something up your sleeves. Um, I, because I can't tolerate lactose, I have found some lactose-free cream cheese that I'm going to try. The other substitution I have calls for a 9-inch springform pan. I don't have one. I thought I did. I don't. I have a six inch, very deep one. So we're gonna try making it in that and we'll just have to adjust the baking time to accommodate. Speaking of which, let's turn my oven on. What do I need to have it on at? 325. Let's try not to spill all the yumminess all over my counter. Okay. So first things first is actually the base. So uh, it calls for one and a quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs or uh, whatever substitute. You can make this with gluten-free cookie crumbs if you want it. Um, I couldn't find the graham cracker crumbs at the safe, at the save on store today. Uh, I just bought the graham crackers and I've just zhuzhed them in my food processor until they're crumb-like. Um, I haven't measured this, so let's, uh, let's measure it. One and a quarter cups. And I need to mix it somewhere. So I need another bowl. This is not well planned. Okay. This is when you realize your kitchen counters are just not big enough. in the bowl it was basically so that was one packet of the cookies uh, I'm not quite sure how many are in that packet six eight cookies um, so that's one and a quarter cups and I've got two tablespoons of it calls for butter this is actually lactose free margarine that I've melted so you're just gonna mix that together Sort of coated. And then we're going to put this into our springform pan and press it down. I just like to use my fingers. You can also use pre made. Um, graham cracker crumb bases. Nice and firm. Okay, I'm going to set that aside while I work on the filling. So, these are also slightly less than 8 ounces. It calls for 8 ounces, 250 grams of cream cheese. These are only 200 grams. Oh, we're just going to make do. 
so the mix might be slightly more flavorful. <laughs> This is what I love about Epicure. You can make adjustments as you go using whatever you have in your fridge, in your house, whatever your family likes. If you're vegan, vegetarian, can't eat dairy, there is a solution for you. this with the um, spice mix. Just making sure that I'm following the directions correctly. Yes. So I'm going to beat this until smooth. I'll be back when it's smooth. Okay, that's pretty smooth. Next step is to add in the eggs one at a time takes three eggs. Again, if you're making this vegan, again, I don't know how you would do the vegan uh, cream cheese. There might be a vegan option out there somewhere. But I know that vegan option for eggs is flax seeds. And then you're adding your pumpkin puree. Uh, it calls for one 14 ounce, 398 mil can. I could only find a large can, so I've just taken out my 14 ounces that I need. That's okay though, I have another recipe where I need that other pumpkin, so we are all good. This is looking pretty good. Just scrape down my sides, make sure I haven't missed anything that needs incorporating. And then we're gonna pour it into the main pan. And if it doesn't all fit in my pan, then um, I will just make some little individual cheesecakes, I think, in my Perfect Petites. Just fill up what I can in here. I'll stop there. I'm gonna reserve that and I will make some little um, cheesecake bites. But this has got to go in the oven. All right, so I've crumbled up some more graham crackers and melted some more of my margarine. And I've got my perfect portion muffin pans right here. I figure I can make itty bitty cheesecakes. I'm just mixing my graham crumbs with my melted margarine. One tablespoon into each, I think. I'm not quite sure how much um, batter I can get. Now I haven't oiled the the, the silicone pan, so it could go horribly wrong when I try and take these out. I'll just make sure they're cooled completely. <laughs> You will be my judge. Okay, and now we're gonna add some of this.
right, so the ratio's probably gonna be off. Not enough cheesecake to grams, but you know what? I'm sure it'll be tasty. I'll put that in once the other cheesecake comes out.